Hello friends, I'm at Mr. Arnott and today my objective is to talk to you about what a Twitter chat is. I'm going to go through some protocols of Twitter chats and also hopefully give you some tips and tricks for you when you participate in a Twitter chat. Let's go ahead and get started. When I look up what a Twitter chat is by Dr. Google, they say that a Twitter chat is a public Twitter conversation around a unique hashtag. This hashtag allows you to follow the discussion and participate in it, and they're usually recurring and on specific topics to regularly connect people with similar interests. So you find your tribe, you have a conversation, and it can be ongoing. It's great professional development for teachers in particular. So as far as which educational hashtags exist. I believe that this person, Cyberary Man, has, uh, he's a pretty good authority on the ones that do exist. There's definitely thousands and it's hard to keep track of them, but he's done a good job of culminating that data. What you will see is, if I move myself on his website, he's got this educational chat schedule that you could take a look at. So you could see that on Wednesday, April 22nd, if I scroll in, there is this iPad chat at one o'clock to talk about iPads and education. If you wanted to be a part of that particular conversation, you could search that hashtag and start to be a part of what folks are talking about. So if I go back over here and uh, we could actually explore. So now this is a chat called the 20 Strong Chat. Um, it's a group of teachers in the independent school district. They will typically have a moderator and they do a good job, I think, because they always have the questions set up ahead of time so that folks can look at them, preview them, and think about their responses. And then during the chat themselves, they can type in their response and even respond to what others are saying at that moment that you're doing this real-time chat with folks. The questions, like I said, are, are going to be here and um, at the end of any correspondence in a chat, you will always end with whatever the hashtag is. That allows you to find it and make it so that you can search for um, answers and it puts all those similar hashtagged items together. So uh, as far as the chat itself, a moderator is going to start their message with Q1 if they're, if they're asking question one and then they'll ask their question and have the hashtag at the end. If I'm answering, I answer with A1 if I'm answering question one, A2 if I'm answering question two, and so on and so forth. Um, and then I will answer and put that educational hashtag at the end as well. It puts everything together so that it's searchable and we'll look at what that looks like. You could follow a Twitter chat on twitter.com. Um, that's very common and it's an, it's it's good for, for some folks and that's what they prefer. I prefer a different tool called TweetDeck.com that allows me to subscribe to specific hashtags or people and it helps me to look and actually follow uh, multiple things at once if you so choose. So let's take a look at Twitter first. When you go to Twitter in the upper right hand corner of Twitter, there is this search field. You could go into that search field and you could search for a specific hashtag. So one that I know that's going to be coming up is ISDNTA19 chat. And when I do a search for that, it always defaults typically to the top tweet that's going on in there. But during the chat itself, you'll probably want to click on this item that says latest so that it sorts it by the latest. And then you could see each one of the chats, uh, each one of the messages that correspond to that particular chat. This happens to be one that only has one tweet in it because it's brand new. But I promise you, you would want to click on latest if you were using this tool. The other tool that you could use is a service called TweetDeck. 
Now in TweetDeck, I have, for example, this 20 strong chat that I follow here. And I can see that in this person, this person, my friend Tasha, um, has put A4 in the beginning of her message because she was answering question four. And then she answers it and then she ends with the hashtag itself. If I wanted to see what question four was, I could probably scroll and I'm gonna keep scrolling. There's question six. So I would have to keep scrolling. There's question five. Um, and there's question four, do you have an at-home self-care routine? Um, so if you needed to go back in time, that's how you could kind of do that with this particular tool. Um, to create uh, a, a subscription or to subscribe to a particular section in TweetDeck, over here on the left-hand side of TweetDeck, there is this add column option. You could click that add column option and you could do a search for a particular hashtag. You could also search a user if you just wanted to follow a particular user's tweets like your boss or um, your close colleague, that sort of thing. But I'm going to click on search and if I wanted to search for um, that same hashtag that we were talking about before, um, because I know it's coming up and it's going to be new, I would type ISDNTA19 chat. When I click return it is going to put that hashtag and I need to try to zoom back out um, it puts that chat at the end and this is the 34th thing that I've searched so now it's over here you can actually move these around if you get to those little crosshairs you can click and move um, those to um, different spaces mine takes just a little bit of time because um, I have so many that I'm following this also is a service that can kind of slow down your computer potentially because it's got a lot of feeds that are coming in at once. So just be aware of that um, if you do um, decide to use this tool to sort through and see what you need to see. I hope that that was helpful. Um, I think that uh, it's a great tool for you to PD yourself and to join conversations. So go forth, be awesome with Twitter, Twitter chats and um, these tools that I showed you to hopefully uh, help you in your own professional development. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. If you have questions, let me know.